small child again, and there I was, in the middle of my third grade classroom in my PJs. There were very, very bright lights, just like I remembered, and a small, smelly guinea pig squeaking in the corner of the room, also like I remembered. Peculiar as it was to be in third grade in my PJs, the worst part was my isolation and the one solitary desk in the middle of the room. So I got up and walked around the cold tiles for a little bit. Then there was this voice, the voice of my oldest nemesis, Mrs. Hobbs, the principal. Will Daniel Maltz please come to the office for third grade download? Said the rasp of the ancient banshee of a principal. Will Daniel Maltz please come down? Like hell I will, exclaimed my squeaky third grade voice, and I didn't. Then there was this crash, and all the lights went out. I wasn't scared, though. I might have looked nine, but I was a lion-hearted man on the inside. The lights came back on, and even brighter still this time. And as they erupted with thousands of tiny light rays, the guinea pig stopped squeaking and hid beneath the safety of her tunnels. Just then, a large man came into the room that I didn't recognize. He was very tall, with square features, and a balding head. This man walked over to me with a smile and said, Daniel? I'm Tom, your instructor. It's nice to meet you. You know how you can never run fast enough in a dream? He then held out a long cord that ran through the doorway and reached for my neck. So Tom pulled me toward him by my arm, and then I saw the big needle on the end of the cord that made me shudder. What's that thing you have? I asked in a panic. Daniel? You know you are due for third grade conditioning today, and you will finish on Friday. I tried to fight it, but Tom went ahead and put that needle cord thing in the back of my head and sat me down on the desk to learn third grade in about 20 minutes. While paralyzed by the metal that then occupied my brain stem, I saw Tom plug a cord out of one of his shoes into the wall, and he folded into a box on the floor charging his batteries. He was a robot, just like I was becoming. How different to be metal. I woke the following morning to the puzzling premise of ominous doom ahead of me. I saw, in my dream, how classrooms were changing. They looked the same, but man is not meant to simply download information. Mankind has a quality of curiosity and wonder at all the vast amount of information around us. And we are indeed meant to learn. But that's just it. We're meant to learn. In order for mankind to truly live up to our potential, it's essential that we keep teaching. When technology is used to aid in teaching, man is living up to full potential. When technology takes over teaching, well, I think you can see what happens. That's it.